Rhode Island is already known as the ocean state, but that could take on a whole new meaning someday. That's because scientists have determined Rhode Island is sinking. Eyewitness News reporter TJ Del Santo explains what's behind it. New at 6. Rhode Island is sinking slowly, but the impacts are already being seen. Rhode Island is getting closer and closer to the ocean every year. Rhode Island is sinking, and it's sinking because of processes that happened tens of thousands of years ago. During the Ice Age, a two-mile-thick ice sheet stretched across Canada and parts of the U.S. Its weight pushed down in the middle of the continent while the coast lifted up. The ice sheet is gone, and now portions of the coast are sinking. North Carolina, New Jersey, and South Carolina have been sinking at rates of 8 to 10 inches per century, while Rhode Island has been sinking 4 inches per 100 years. That has a big impact to long-established cities like Newport and Providence, both settled nearly 400 years ago. You built that town or you built that city, sea level is now a foot and a half higher than it was then. And that has a huge implication for things like nuisance flooding. And that's just from natural causes. Sky Drone 12 over the Bonnet Shore section of Narragansett, one of many Rhode Island communities which will be impacted by rising seas. The rate of sea level rise today is faster than at any time during the past 3,000 to 3,500 years. The rate the land is sinking in Rhode Island is much less than the rate the sea level is rising. Current data suggests recent accelerations in sea level rise could swamp parts of this neighborhood on Colonel John Gardner Road by 2100. Experts say the sea is rising so quickly because of increased greenhouse gas emissions. As much as we have those much higher rates projected in the future, we have potential to mitigate those by changing our behaviors. Engelhardt said using clean, renewable energy and a carbon capture and storage system could slow the rate of sea level rise. But the sinking, that's out of our control. In the control room, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.